Hey everybody, Kevin Weiss, BodyPerformance.net, and today I'm partnering with Riptone Fitness Products to bring you this video about a new product, which is their dip belt. Now, even though it's called a dip belt, it can be used for many more things besides that. So we're gonna do a few videos where I'm gonna show some exercise variations that you can add resistance to using this very belt. First of all, I wanna go over a few benefits and pluses of this belt and how it's constructed. Most importantly, you wanna have a good chain and a good clasp with it. This is a very good high quality chain. A lot of the other dip belts that I've seen their chain is way too flimsy and small. And when you actually start using some heavier weights, which with some of the exercises, some of the leg exercises and stuff I'm gonna show you how to do with this belt, you wanna make sure that your chain is nice and strong so it doesn't let you down. Same with the carabiner or the clasp on the end. This also has to be of high quality and a lot of the cheaper belts uh, that I've seen, they just don't have the quality put into this that's gonna keep you safe in the long run. Second of all, the belt is not the same width all the way along. So where it goes across your back, it is actually widened. That sits around your lower back more securely and safely, and it spreads the load out better. So that's gonna be more comfortable. The more weight that you add onto the chain, the more the weight's gonna be spread across your upper hips and lower back, and it's not the belt's not gonna dig in. Thirdly, it's not too thin around the edges. So when you get yourself wrapped into the belt and it's around your waist, if this edge is very thin, it's gonna dig into your sides with the more weight that you put on it too. So all of these different features of the belt make the quality that one step higher, which allows you to perform better when you're using the belt without having to worry about your equipment letting you down. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna demonstrate First of all, dips. So first of all, you take a belt just like you would with any other belt, wrap it around your waist, and then you drop the carabiner through the one end of the belt. Then whatever resistance you're gonna use, I'm using a kettlebell here, I put the chain through the handle and attach to the opposite side of the belt. So when you drop the kettlebell down, then it tightens the belt around your waist. Notice that when I go up and down here, there's very little swinging to the kettlebell. Try and keep yourself very still as you push straight up to the top and lower smoothly to the bottom. If you lean forward a little bit, it works your chest and shoulders a little harder. So there you have it for dips. In that video, I was leaning forward slightly and that puts a little bit more stress on your chest and shoulders. If you wanted to put a little bit more stress on your triceps, I'd stay a little bit more upright and don't lean forward quite so much, keeping your head more straight up and down instead of down towards your chest. That's just one tip. Many more to come. Kevin Weiss from bodyperformance.net, team with Riptone Fitness Products. I'm gonna to talk to you again real soon.